Yo, what's going on, it's your boy Ghost here, and today I am bringing you guys another comparison video between the Amex and Growl. Now, I've actually made this one in the past, but at this point, it's a lot more relevant this comparison than it was when I first made it. Um, you know, ever since the DMR nerf, there's been a lot of confusion of what the meta is, and the rise of the Growl and Amex have come back. And when I made my original comparison of the Amex and Growl, the Kilo was still king, that is no longer the case. So I felt like it was an appropriate time to revisit this comparison. And so here we are. But anyways, but before we continue into the comparison, I want to say, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications. Uh, we're on the road to 2,000 subscribers, and, you know what I'm saying, we're just taking it one day at a time. So hopefully, you help me on that, and hit that sub button. Also, if you're looking to for some live stream content, you know, feel free to go follow your boy on Twitch. Always goes underscore. We've been grinding. We just hit, like, 100 hours stream last month, because, you know, we were on that grind. And I'm not looking to slow down. But you know what I'm saying? Go help a brother out. Love a follow over there. But yeah, with that being said, let's get into the comparison. And here we have my recoil pattern for the Amex. And I know it's a little short and weird. That's just because, I don't know, this PS4 recording shit just but likes to bug out. And I don't know, man. I apologize for the weird recoil pattern. But you just have to know that the Amex does have a lot of recoil. But controlling it, you know, it's a little weird. Because on console, it feels very hard to control. And, you know, if you compare it to a PC player, when they use the Amex, their Amex has no recoil because of the effect of FOV, which you guys do not know. Like, it's like the setting that gives you the illusion that you have no recoil. Not necessarily gives you no recoil because that's not the case. It still has recoil. It just gives you the illusion because the FOV affected um, that it has no recoil. So it looks like, you know, it just beams. But on console, we don't have that. So, you know, the recoil is a little, you know what I'm saying? It's a little weird. Uh, but, I mean, it's not that hard to control fully. Um, yes, you're going to get recoil like, at certain ranges, but the damage is what makes up for that recoil. This gun is an absolute melter. And um, I don't know if you guys saw my class setup, but I actually am using an operator foregrip, which is something that I've never done. I've always ran the commando, but when I used the Amex this time around, I don't know, with the commando, I was shooting straight, just zigzags. I could not hit a shot to save my life. I was just, it was going everywhere. It was going everywhere. But I put on the operator foregrip, and man, I don't know. It completely changed the weapon for me. At first, it felt a little weird to get used to because I did feel the initial, like, slow ADS. But I started getting used to it, and now it doesn't really bother me. So I would recommend using an operator or ranger or merc. Um, I think the commando, I think, well, for me personally now, is outdated just because, I mean, I couldn't control it. And, or maybe if I continued to try using it, I would have um, been able to control it. But it's been so long since I used the Amex that me using that class setter, man, that it was chalk. But, man, I don't know, dude. This Amex definitely does feel like one of the top tier ARs or the best AR. Um, you know, that's why everyone right now is kind of favoring it. But don't sleep on the ground, you know what I'm saying? The ground is still great. But, man, it's Amex, dude. This, this thing is something special, you know what I'm saying? I definitely missed using it. Cause I, I, for a short period of time, when it first came out, I was like an advocate for it. Because a lot of people call it like the poor man's AK. People were saying it was trash. And then it got nerfed. And I was like, I thought that was the end of it. But then it turned out it was actually really good. And, you know, here we are. It hasn't received a nerf. hasn't received a, a buff. None of that. It's been the same for the entirety. Uh, or ever since it got the initial nerf back in like when it first came out. It's been hella long since it got that. But, you know what I'm saying? So this gun was like one of the go-tos when everything got nerfed. And, you know, the metal was up in the air. And like right now, you see all the popular streamers using it, or at least most of them are kind of using this gun as their go-to. This is the gun that they choose to slay out with or go, quote-unquote, um, try-hard mode. And, you know, if it's a tournament, a theoretical tournament, more than likely the go-to loadouts are Amex and um, Max. And I don't know, man, the Amex definitely has been pushing. And even before, like, the whole integration happened, the Amex was starting to also come into question for meta. I don't know if you guys recall, but, like, Season 6 towards the end of it, or I guess right before Cold War came out, it was like Amax, Kilo, Ram. You know, people were really talking about the Amax. They were really liking it. And, um, you know, but, you know, we got the DMR, and so it, that kind of pushed everything away. And even I still used the Amax a little bit once the DMR came into the game. Um, it was kind of like a counter, but, I mean, the DMR was just some stupid. Thank God it's nerfed now, and now we're able to use this gun again. But, um, yeah. But that being said, man, let's get into the ground. And here we have the recoil pattern for the growl. But we already know, man, this thing is a beamer. Um, ever since it's been out, it's just, you know, doesn't move. And when it got nerfed, it didn't receive a recoil nerf. So, you know, it's still that gun. 
Um, and I will say that in terms of like accuracy and control, it's a lot more appealing than the Amex. It's a lot easier to control, a lot more uh, beginner friendly. So for the people out there that shoot zigzags with the Amex or any gun that they can't control, the Growl is the weapon that you can control because it doesn't require much. And it's pretty powerful. It's a better version than the M13, except that it doesn't have close range um, engagement abilities. But we'll get into that in a second. But see... Ever since the DMR got nerfed, and you know, I'm going to keep referencing this DMR nerf because that literally <laughs> changed Warzone for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Because no one used it anymore, and everyone started using a lot of other things. But the growl was picked up again, and people were like, yo, this gun feels like it hits, like it's hitting better now. And, you know, I picked it up again too, and I was like, yo, this thing really does feel different. And, you know, I was like, did they secretly buff it? Which, you know, they actually didn't. It was actually something that Jay got brought up, um, which shout out to him, by the way. When, so when the Kilo got nerfed, right? It made it weaker, obviously. But, so, when they got nerfed and became weaker, it made the growl feel stronger because, you know, it was, and truly, it was stronger. So, at certain ranges, it felt more powerful now because we were so used to the kilo being so strong at that range that when it got nerfed, it became weaker. And this weapon was a lot stronger, or not a lot stronger, but it was a little bit more stronger than it, making it feel like we had a buff. But, in reality, no buff was actually made. It's just that one weapon became so much weaker that it made another weapon feel stronger. Um, you know, so when the killer was dominant, you know what I'm saying, the growl was forgotten about. People were like, it's a marshmallow shooter. People still use it here and there, but, you know, compared to the, the killer, it was it was nothing, bro. But then they got nerfed, the killer gets nerfed, and here we go. The growl gets picked back up. It feels like a monster, but in reality, it's still been like this since it got nerfed. Nothing has changed. Still the same gun. It just feels different. Which is good though, because you know what I'm saying? I'd rather have a growl, you know, right now, meta than a DMR. I don't really mind the growl. This thing's not annoying. It's not overpowered. I feel like it's more balanced now. And it's definitely a better version than the M13. So for all you little M13 lovers out there, bro, this thing is better. All right? It's a better version of the M13. Um, but I will say though, like, the one very bad thing about the growl is the close range engagement. Like, that, this thing close range is just, no, it's, it's not possible, bro. It's terrible. It's horrible. Um, if you wanted to run a sniper, I would definitely not recommend using a growl as your primary weapon. Um, definitely, like an Amex would be more appealing or a lot better choice. Um, you know, I, I feel like no, no bullshit. Like I even think a Milano cow gun a growl close range. That's how bad I think it is, man, at close range. But yo, medium, long range, it's got that. No problem, no drama. It's got that. But that close range, man, which happens to, ha well, you know, it happens a lot. I mean, like, let me give you a scenario, you know what I'm saying? You get your load up, you die, you come back right when the, you know, the game, the first loadout comes in, and you want to get ghosts, right? But the only ghost class you have is a growl one. You're kind of fucked until you can get a, a secondary weapon. But, you know, if you have to go fight close range, you're going to be at a very big disadvantage because this gun has no close range engagement. It's, let me see, let me think about it. I think it has easily... One of the worst close range engagements out of the AR category. I mean, there's a few others that could obviously are worse, but this gun just doesn't have it. I, again, I think a Milano could take it, no lie. Uh, but the Amax, you know, that thing does have it close range engagement. It's a little weird close range engagement, um, especially with my class setup because it's a little bit slower. If you had like a no sight Amax or a faster ADS one, you'd be able to do things at close range. It'd still be a little awkward because it's the AR at the end of the day, and go up against a Mac 10 or any other SMG would be hard, a difficult challenge. But you know, it's more possible to make things happen with the Amex at close range than it is a growl. Um, but, I mean, at long range, the growl has... Technically, it has it over the Amex because it's easier to control, but... Like, you don't get punished for missing shots with the Amex. You know what I'm saying? I could empty out a 45 clip into, you know, a field and be missing a lot of shots, but all I have to do is hit those shots and I, like, hit, like, five shots, six shots, and I got them. You know what I'm saying? That's what I like about the Amex. You don't really get punished for having bad aim because the damage just makes up for it. If you get headshots, too... GG. Um, but the, the growl, like, you have to be precise with it because you have to hit your shots more. But it's easier to hit shots, so, you know, that just that just cancels each other out. Um, and mobility and all that, man. The growl, not the growl. The growl is not better than the Amex mobility was. Um, it's a lot slower. It feels a lot more clunkier. And again, that's why the close range gets me feel a lot weirder. And the damage at close range is kind of whack. So. Or I maybe mean, that may not be whack, but it's just not better than what an SMG or any of the other ARs is. It's just weird. But overall, man, both these weapons are amazing. Um, they are definitely, right now, meta. They're like the... I want to say meta, because I don't think there's like a real set meta, but they're like the go-tos right now. So I guess they're kind of like meta, you know? I use the growl. I use the Amex. Um, it just really depends on what like, the game I'm feeling. But I will say that, not going to lie, like, let's just say this, right? Tourney, right? If I have a tourney tomorrow, 
I'm about to go compete for however much money I'm about to compete for. And I gotta really go sweat. I'm going Amex Mac. I think the Amex is just, I don't know, it has that little, just that little edge over it, you know what I'm saying? Just because it's a lot more powerful and I feel like I can control it now with my class setup and that's just me, you know what I'm saying? So I know a lot of people like asking me what, what gun I would actually prefer and I hate putting one gun over the other because don't get me wrong, again, the growl is really good. But the Amex to me, man, I, I just gotta pick it over for over the growl right now just because of the damage and the ability to move better. But yeah, with that being said, let me know what your personal preference is between the two and why. And I'll talk to you guys later. I'm out. Peace.